Hello, welcome to a lesson on tariffs. If you've been subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe for more videos and also advise us in the comments section below on other maths literacy topics that you'd like us to do. What are tariffs? This question says, use the tables above to calculate the amount a household will have to pay for consuming 46 kiloliters of water. So we have two tables. I'll name them the first table as table one, the second table as table two. So if you look at the first table, it is water usage in kiloliters and on the first column. And then the second column, it is tariff per kiloliter. So for every single kiloliter in each bracket, there is a rate. So if you look at the first bracket, it is from zero kiloliters to nine kiloliters at a rate of zero rents. They do not charge you for the amount of water that you use as long as it is below nine kiloliters. They start charging you from nine kiloliters going upwards and it is a sliding scale. So that means the more water you use, the more money you will pay. So now they said we have a family that used a total of 46 kiloliters. So we have to calculate how much they're going to pay for that 46 kiloliters of water. So each and every bracket has its rate. So let's check from zero to nine kiloliters, we have a total of nine kiloliters at a rate of zero rents because they're not going to pay anything here. So I'm going to multiply the nine by zero and get zero rents. So from the second bracket, it is from nine kiloliters to 25 kiloliters. So here, in order to get the, um, the total kiloliters in these brackets, I have to subtract the nine kiloliters from the 25 kiloliters in the second bracket. So it is 25 kiloliters in the second bracket minus the nine kiloliters, the last number in the first bracket. And I get a total of 16 kiloliters. So I'm gonna multiply that by 9,27 because each kiloliter is nine rands, 27. So I'll get a total of 148 comma 32. So in the third bracket, it is from 26 kiloliters to 30 kiloliters. So you may also count on how many kiloliters they are in this bracket, but the quickest way it is to subtract this 25 kiloliters in the second bracket minus the 30 kiloliters in this third bracket and then you get five kiloliters because sometimes we get to deal with wider intervals. And this goes at a rate of 12,36 and you get a total of 61,80. And then in the fourth bracket, you do the same. It is this 45 kiloliters minus the 30 kiloliters in the previous bracket and you get a total of 15 kiloliters. 15 kiloliters multiplied by the rate in that bracket, which is 19,06. And when I multiply that, I get 285,90. And now in the last bracket of more than 45 kiloliters, I only have one kiloliter because it's up to 46 kiloliters that they use at a rate of 20 rands, 96, and I still get 20 rands, 96, because it's multiplied by one. So now, when you add all these kiloliters that we have got from these brackets, they must give you a total of 46 kiloliters, which the family used. So after I have calculated this, I'm going to add all these amounts all these answers that I got here, we're gonna add them together. So it is from zero rands plus 148,32 plus 
61 rands, 80 plus 285,90 plus 20,96. And then now there is also a fixed charge that we must add because this family used more than nine kiloliters. So they fall in this bracket. So they have to pay a total of 83 rands, 43, which is a fixed charge, the once off payment. So we have to add it in this calculation. 83,43. So when we add all of them, we get a total of 600,41. So we must remember that these prices, they exclude VAT. All these tariffs, they exclude the 15% VAT, value added tax, as demanded by SARS. So now we have to get the 15% of this money, that is 15 out of 100. And then we get a total of 90,06. And now this is our VAT. So I'll take the VAT exclusive amount of 600,41 plus the VAT of 90,06. And then I get a total of 690 rands, 47, which is the amount to be paid by the household.